All right, in this video, I want to do an example of factoring a trinomial by the grouping method. And certainly, this is a little more efficient than doing, uh, you know, kind of the, the trial and error guess and check method. So, we'll have to do one thing first, and this is, again, something very common. So, whenever I go about trying to factor anything, the first thing I always try to do is, is factor out the greatest common factor. And in this case, it doesn't look like we can factor out the variable x, but if you look at the 12, the 34, and the 10, we can factor out the largest, well, the greatest common factor of those numbers. And I believe the greatest common factor of 12, 34, and 10 would be 2. And then we just have to think what goes back in the parentheses. So we would need a 6x squared to get our 12x squared. It looks like we would need a 17x to get the uh, 34x. And then we would need a positive 5, so that when we distribute, we get our 10. OK, so now I'm trying to break down this expression in the middle, the 6x squared plus 17x plus 5. And again, you could start just sort of trial and erring, uh, you know, trying to do the two sets of parentheses and make it work out. But what we're going to do here is something hopefully a little more efficient. So the 2 is just going to be hanging out for the rest of the problem, so you can kind of forget about that. Focus on what's inside the parentheses. So the trick is, what we do is we look at the number in front of the squared term, which is our 6, and we multiply that by whatever the constant is, in this case is a 5. We multiply those together and we get 30. And what I'm trying to do is I want to think of now two numbers that multiply to 30 but add up to 17, so the number in the middle. So we could start thinking about factors of 30, you know, 1 and 30. Well, I don't think we can use 1 and 30 to add up to get a 17, so I don't think those two numbers would work. The very next one I would use would be 2 and 15. Well, hey, if you multiply 2 and 15, you definitely get 30, and if you add them up, you get 17. So these numbers are going to be important. And what we do with these, so we've got our 2, our 6x squared. What we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the middle term, our 17x. We're going to rewrite that using these numbers we just found, the 2 and the 15. And what we're going to do is we're going to write 17x as positive 2x plus 15x, right? I mean, if we add those back, we certainly get 17x. And then we still have a positive 5 left over. I'm going to make my parentheses here into brackets, actually. And now this is where we now do our factoring by grouping step. Okay, so there's my 2 still just hanging out front. And remember, when we do factoring by grouping, we look at our first two terms, and I think, what's in common that I could factor out? What's the greatest common factor? Well, I believe we could factor out another 2 and also an x. And then inside the parentheses, 2x times 3x would give us the 6x squared. And I think we would simply just need a positive 1 to get our 2x back. And now we do the same thing on the 15x plus 5. I think, what's the greatest common factor of those two terms? Well, I believe we could factor out a 5. And again, we would need a 3x plus 1 inside the parentheses uh, to get our 15x and our positive 5 back. And now we're basically, we're basically done. There's our 2 still hanging out front. Remember when you do factoring by grouping, whatever, uh, whatever the, whatever's in front of the parentheses, we stick that in a set of parentheses. So I'm going to put my 2x and my positive 5 in one set of parentheses. And then we have our 3x plus 1, this common factor. We stick that next to it, and now we have it factored. Okay, so this is the method, this is the idea of factoring by grouping. Again, you look at the coefficient, you look at the, con you look at the coefficient on the squared term, you look at the constant, you multiply those, and then you're thinking about factors. You know, what multiplies to give me that number, but adds up to the middle number. Okay, so again, there's no guaranteeing that factoring by grouping is always going to work, but if things do factor relatively nicely, you know, with whole numbers, this method will, will work and will get you there. So, all right, I hope this example makes some sense. Definitely going to do some others. Um, so, definitely, like I said, I think this is much more efficient than the trial and error method. 
I certainly encourage you to multiply it out to see that you do get the original back. And also, try to factor 6x squared plus 17x plus 5 and see if you actually you know, come up with the solution by trial and error. So I think you'll find that the grouping method is much, much faster and uh, still a little, you know, still a few steps to do, but overall I think it's much quicker.